What is going on guys, it's Taylor. I'm back with an edition of Condensed Gaming where I take an old game, play it through, give you some facts and some mystery, and then show you the ending. In this version, I'm actually going to do a little different. Um, I'm still going to show the ending and give you some history, but I'm actually going to go through level by level and also give you some uh, facts about what I found each level as I went through. So let's start with the facts. Of the Simpsons arcade game, it was developed by Konami for the arcade machine. Um, the Commodore 64 and MS-DOS versions had a Nova Trade developing them. And when they came to XBLA, uh, Xbox Live Arcade, as well as PlayStation Network a couple years ago, they were developed by Backbone Entertainment. Um, as I mentioned, they came to Arcade, Commodore 64, MS-DOS, Machines, and 360, and PlayStation 3. Uh, the release dates for these was Arcade was in 1991, which was about two years after the first episode of the uh, show aired. Um, Commodore 64 was in 91, MS-DOS Machines were in 91, uh, Xbox, Arc Xbox Live Arcade as well as PlayStation Network was in 2012, so oh, almost that was about 10 years ago, geez. So if you didn't, you didn't get it then, then sadly you probably won't be able to get it, but I think it's been taken off the market. Um, this is considered a side-scrolling beat-em-up. So let's go do a rundown of the game. Um, starts off with... It's actually, I'm sorry. So it's a four-player thing. You can, you can choose Marge, Bart, Homer, or Lisa, depending on which controller you you you, know, you pick, where you put the quarter in, in the arcade. The way I was playing it, I set it up so I just picked the left one, and which would be Marge. Um, I didn't play with anybody else, so I couldn't do the power. The you can do the team up moves, couldn't do that because there's nobody else here. So I played it off all three with Marge. The game starts with Smithers stealing a diamond from a jewelry shop and bumping into Homer in the, sh the rest of the Simpsons, and it actually the diamond falls into Maggie's mouth. So instead of Smithers. Just taking the diamond out of Maggie's mouth, he takes steal with Maggie. It's been a canon that Mr. Burns cannot defeat Maggie, um, but never was it said that Smithers was too weak to defeat Maggie as well. So, I'm not sure why he just took the whole baby and didn't take the diamond. Also, I'm not sure why he needs a diamond when Mr. Burns is a multi-millionaire and um, that's been shown as well. So, level one, downtown Springfield. Uh, the rabbit character you see on the front of most of these uh, intros are the is the character that Matt Groening created with Life is Strange, Life is Strange comics. Um, you see Patty and Selma in the background along with Grandpa, who all seem to leave the scene of the crime at, at the, the level starts. Uh, you'll see in the background also the rusty barnacle, which looks to have a version of a Lunsay Doris in it. Um, now this isn't the same the same sea captain uh, restaurant yeah, you'll see later on in The Simpsons. I forgot the name that's called. I think the I think it's Flying Dutchman, um, but that one has an animated sign in the front of it. Uh, you see an arcade with a little boy playing arcade. That's the same boy who taught Homer how to beat uh, Bart in the boxing game. And also you see a poster for the New Simpsons game with Homer playing the game. Uh, there's a, in the, On the fence, there's a drawing of Seymour Skinner, Principal Skinner, um, that's very reminiscent of the one that Bart drew where he says, I'm a wiener, like in the caption. And the boss looks just to be a generic wrestler that Homer and um, Bart have watched on TV. I think we saw like a scene or two of that in one of the episodes. Uh, level two is Krusty Land. Uh, Krusty in this in this game is just a generic enemy, just up as, as Krusty. But as we all know in the show, Krusty was supposed to be Homer because he was supposed to be Homer trying to uh, get closer to Bart by dressing as his favorite clown. But that didn't that never actually happened. Um, there's a baby in the background that has been included in many of the scenes with Maggie when she was a daycare and other um, park scenes. You can also see Otto and Dr. Marvin Monroe working in concession stands. Uh, later, Dr. Marvin Monroe died and Otto is, as we all know, the bus driver. Uh, Sands Little Helper runs by, can't do anything, can't even interact with him, he just kinda runs by. Um, there's ice cream carts with Krusty's name on it, it's Krusty Ice Cream. As we all know from the episode where Krusty loses his job and goes to save with Bart, Krusty puts his name on, name on everything. Uh, there's a girl in the background that looks very reminiscent of Homer. Uh, the bear has been part of gags here and there. I forget offhand where exactly, but to me it looks more like the version that we see in the show The Critic, the anime show. Really funny. So you can use, and the rabbit characters are enemies, but they're really just um, enemies in costume uh, towards the end of the level. Level three, the Springfield Discount Cemetery. Uh, now, the first thing I saw was the ghost hanging from the tree. I thought at first it was the angel that we saw in the episode where they were um, 
everybody thought it was an angel that came down to appear it on the hill, but it ended up being just an advertisement for a new mall showing up. But I realized that that was also many seasons in the future that had not been aired yet, so that couldn't be that. Um, there are frogs in the background of the episode, which remind me of, I think it's a future episode. Well, it has to be a future episode, actually, um, where Maggie gets sent to live with the, Fla- with the Flanders because uh, Tyler Services takes all the kids away. And back at the very last scene, you'll see Maggie having a choice to who she wants to pick, the Flanders or the Simpsons, uh, minus Marge. And the Simpsons have the, are in the swamp in the background and frogs jumping everywhere. The zombies are doing a non-copyright version of the Thriller dance. And the boss in this level is just two Bart clones wearing the oversized adult um, suits. Uh, the level four is Moe's Tavern. This looks to be like an underground version of Moe's Tavern. <laughs> like, it's not really illegal either because I know there's a roulette table in there. But as we saw um, in the episode where there was a casino built, the gambling seems to be okay. Maybe it was just a location situation. But um, I'm not sure if that's legal because of that or just a underground bar. People going to hang out. You'll see a poster in the background with dancers that Homer was caught dancing with, um, with Bart's tiny spy camera in an early episode of the series. Lancelot Doris kind of makes an appearance, a clone of, of her pretty much makes an appearance and looks really out of place. Uh, the version of Mo has a female staff, which is odd because Mo has no staff except for himself because he wouldn't pay anybody else. Why would he waste money on that? Um, Mo was there, obviously, with an extensive bar in the background, which we never see in the actual tavern itself. Just a small cup of bottles, and mostly they just serve duff there, or doof, if they want to. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, yeah, there's a TV in the background uh, playing, playing Maggie on a loop. Um, there's also a uh, house band with Bleeding Gums Murphy playing the sax. Uh, there are two arcade machines. One is Aliens, funny because it's the Fox property, and the uh, Fox on The Simpsons. But it's a space mutant in the background on the actual screen, sorry, not the actual alien, the xenomorph. And the other one is a Simpsons arcade game that is reminiscent of the game you're supposed to be playing with the four players. And on there it shows, um, at least what I've seen, it was showed uh, Marge and Homer kissing. And the boss in this level looks like one of the bullies' dads, one of the bullies that Bart deals with. Uh, next level is the Springfield, Springfield Butte, I believe it's called. It's uh, pronounced. A um, couple things here. The bear makes another appearance. Bigfoot's in the cave, as we know in the early episode. Bigfoot was thought was supposed to be Homer when he was covering mud, and I think he was covered with bee, or he got stung by bees, but the beehive does make an appearance here. Um, but it wasn't really Bigfoot, it was just Homer covering dirt. Um, Blinky makes an appearance, the three-eyed fish in the waterfall, and slide sh- sorry, Sideshow Pub uh, offers you health towards the end of the level uh, on a cart. He comes by with some food. The next level is Dreamland, which is pretty much, it has everything for no matter who you are playing. It kind of has this thing for everybody. His donuts, smartest heads pop up. Springfield Elementary is in the background. The moon looks like crusty. There's flying Bart devils. There's saxophones. The works from, there works some nuclear power plants show up. And also towards the end, you see you kind of walk into Evergreen Terrace where you see the Simpsons mailbox on one of the clouds. And the boss is a big bowling ball, which Reminds me of when Homer bought Marge the bowling ball for their, I think, their anniversary, but it had his name engraved on it, and then she got mad and started using it and started and met the other guy, the French guy. Level seven is channel six. Only two things here: one, no Camp Rockman, that sucks, and also in the background you see of the, the person doing the news that um, it's a video of a plane of them showing Mr. Burns stealing Maggie, kind of doing the missing wanted situation there. The last level is nuclear power, nuclear power plant. Uh, you fight Smithers, who ends up blowing himself up at the end for no odd reason, but he uses bombs even in the beginning of the, uh, the game. You see him uh, robbing the jewelry store with bombs. And then you fight Mr. Burns, who has a three, I think a three or four like uh, version, like his mech suit turns into three, uh, a couple different things. Um, but then at the end, when you defeat him, his eyes turn to X's. And... Um, I know he's not dead. I know neither of them are neither of them dead, but it just seems kind of funny that he blows himself up and then Mr. Uh, Burns would have X's on his eyes, mostly representing death. Um, anyway, that was my facts of the game each level. Here is the ending. <laughs>